Hey, what's up guys? Kato here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be playing as the Elder Lion. This will be kind of a segment to the previous video that I've played. This is still the same Elder Lion. So I do want to see if we can find a pride to some huntings or maybe try to see if the legacy of this line ends. But hopefully you guys will enjoy. Stay tuned for the middle of the video because I do have an announcement for you guys. I do think you guys will enjoy. Now it's getting nighttime. We are pretty far away from the hotspot. We're gonna try and navigate ourselves to the east and see if we can find a little small meal that we can catch and eat. We are arriving at one of my favorite places in the game. There should be some herbivore food. I don't know if that's sugar canes. Looks like we have a gazelle over there. I do think she knows I'm here, but we'll try and approach use these trees as covered. It is pretty pointless to use camouflage in this game because of the rendered distance, but if you're this close, then the player will have the same render as you, so you shouldn't be able to see me through these bushes. We got a perfect meal to fill our stomach to start the day. I was a little bit worried too. I was a little bit worried about this zebra because if she was an adult zebra, it would give me a lot of problems. But I do think because it's a sub adult, or might be a juvie. Thank God it died on two hits. I'm gonna stay here until the carcass disappears and then we're gonna drink a little bit of water. And make our way to the uh, oasis. I do wanna check if there's any lions on this cave because there usually are. It doesn't seem like it. <coughs> Looks like we have a pride on that rock. <coughs> Don't really know how big. <coughs> but we can try and go over there and try to see if they are accepting a elder lion. We have a crocodile, a hyena clan over there, a pride over there, with two males. We have to try and see if I can find other prides. It's like going shopping, you know, you go in, take a look at each of your options and then choose. Do not choose the first pride that you see, because it might not be the best. But I do want to get away from the hyena clan. It looks like this is croc land because of the oasis they migrated to this side we do have to be very careful if you want to drink on this side of the uh, lake we also have some hippos a random chunk of meat like we have a pride of lions fighting a solo wild dog But because they already have three adults, uh, I can't really join. So for now, I do think we're gonna play the solo game. And 
I spotted some crocodiles with which they had a nest. Do you know what that means? Free meals. We're gonna try and scout the area a little bit, see where they are. So right behind that little bush. That's where their nest is. Seems to be one adult and probably a juvie. Not really sure. The animations create a bug when you crouch. One wrong move and it's a GG for them. But I do need to have my eyes on the small croc. There's one in the water. But there is none on land. So we just have to play the waiting game, I guess. Like there's a little juvie crocodile over there. We do have to take this chance to kill it. But because it's night time, I need to see where he was. He got in the water in the nick of time. Looks like there's a pregnant lioness over there drinking water. I hear a small croc over here. But I don't know if he's still in the water or if new ones got birth in. Yep, we got a little small croc, but I do want him to lay down because that's when they're the most vulnerable. If I'm able to hit him three times, that should give me a good advantage. Because I don't really know where the adults are. I'm getting damage from the climate because I don't really have any points in fortitude. Oh, it's a perfect chance to attack. Hopefully he's not baiting me. Oh. There were there was a crocodile inside of their nest. And then there was this crocodile that was trying to hunt on top of the nest. Unfortunately, I didn't know that there was a little small crocodile using the nest as cover. The only one that I saw was basically the other one, the juvie. Well, that was unlucky. I'm gonna grab a little piece, go to somewhere that it's warmer, and then rest for a little bit, regen our health. Looks like we have a friendly bunny. Mm. He came out of nowhere, he's pretty, pretty small. Might be my pet bunny. Well, I went ahead and asked in global chat if there was any prides that were accepting elders and I luckily got one. We 
Wait, are they fighting? I just came back from vacation and I'm already fighting. Anybody die? I'm kind of confused. What actually happened? What actually happened there? Did we lose? What happened there? I'm not really sure. confused what what the hell is happening here I just joined the pride and then out of the nowhere they're already fighting another pride I'm not really understanding what the, what the hell is happening mm. both of them are on the, the water mm. don't know if they're bugged because there is a bug that lets you walk on the water, but what the hell happened there? I'm pretty confused on what's happening. Now they're trying to hunt some zebras. No one is really talking on uh, group chat. as well help them <coughs> it seems like the oasis right now is pretty pretty agitated well I'm pretty pretty confused they are either in a voice chat call because right now they just killed a giraffe. Like they're they're in a rampage. These guys. I'm a little bit confused because first it was the pride fight that I don't really know how it happened. The second thing was the zebra hunt, and then now they decided to kill a juvie giraffe. And they haven't communicate in a group chat, so... I don't know about this group, guys. I don't know. One thing is for sure, Mizuki and Sloom, they seem to be playing together. But we'll see. If things go bad, I will just eventually leave this group and leave this pride. Find a different one. But for now, we're gonna heal. seems like dark is kind of guarding the water i don't think that's allowed to do i don't want him to start a fight that we don't really want to take Killed a little baby. 
thanks to little dark here that was three calling people and it seems like sloom disconnected melody will probably also disconnect it because she played with sloom now i have a choice either leave dark alone because i do smell problems if i play with him or keep him keep him by my side and maybe who knows you might even survive See, that's what I'm talking about. This guy keeps killing every single thing. I don't know if I want to be a part of this group. Because he seems the wild type who will kill and defy almost everyone. And there is a pride coming. You can see the male scouting us. I'm trying to cross this. Hopefully I won't get snatched by any crocs. Good thing is that Dark is reliable if it comes to a fight, but still, I don't want him to go and wander off and kill anything that he sees, because we're just two males, he's probably also an elder male, but that doesn't mean that we are invincible. <sighs> but we're gonna stay here for a little bit, try and find a female. And see if we can start this pride back up. And there he goes. I do have to stop him. Let me try and hit him. We don't need to run after him because I do know that the wild dog has a lot of stamina. There is not much point on trying to hunt a wild dog because they do have a lot of stamina. So we're gonna let him run, do his circles, and maybe... You will become tired. From solo playing, hunting zebras, crocodiles, to a pride who doesn't really communicate. And then we have Dark who just attacks everything that he sees. And now we have this wild dog who tried to attack us even though we have protection. I do think he might have ate the other chunk that we had. <laughs> These fellow wild dogs don't give up. Luckily for them, they have a lot of stamina so they can sprint around for about 20 minutes or so without getting tired. Us, on the other hand, we don't have that privilege, so it's just a pointless fight. Okay. 
It is just a pointless fight. It's just really pointless. There are times that you need to know which fights you need to take and this is not one of them. Wild dogs are a little like mosquitoes. Annoying, bother you quite a lot, but not really that harmful. May this be a lesson to Dark, because right now he's just doing something pointless. They are pretty annoying. The bad news is they can chase us with no problem because they have a lot of stamina. So the best bet is just for us to stay here and let them go away. Because this will be an endless battle. They are pretty smart. Because they are using the tall grass as covered. But we might lose them here, so. He still insists in fighting. They do have a lot of more of uh, camouflage in there. This is just a pointless fight. And I'm pretty amazed how long these wild dogs want to keep doing this because there is just no point. But oh well. It seems like my dear brother logged off and now I'm just off alone well that was a pretty annoying battle I really didn't have much to do it was pretty pointless but I do think I will try and hunt that little buffalo and eat him and maybe call it a day. Oh, we have... Oh. Oh. We have a beautiful feast. Unfortunately, one of them will die. I just need to aim properly because I don't want a double kill again. But you know what? I think I'm gonna be fair. And I'm gonna three call those buffaloes. Give them a chance to run away and then try to attack in pursuit. This, these guys are still... They do have a timer though, that they don't really need to attack me. But. They have become pretty, pretty annoying. Jesus. Well, this is not exactly how I would want to die, but it seems like they gave up. Because usually you have a timer, you cannot attack someone else, and then there's this guy.
which is pretty annoying because there was a rule break there and then this other line decides to randomly attack me. You know what? It's for the best for me to leave the oasis. We are gonna go far, far away from the oasis because things were a little bit hectic. It's, it's just that time of hour where we need to call it a day. End the video at that. So I do hope you guys enjoy this line video. Make sure you watch my announcement video that I posted yesterday. Hit a like. Make sure also to join my Discord if you guys want to participate on the Animali giveaway. And leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kato here. Take care. And peace.